Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to go over the reduce tool and how it can sometimes help you when creating assets. You can get to this tool by going to mesh, reduce, and let's actually just click this little menu box on the end to get to the tool settings. And let's just do a quick rundown of the tool. Straight up, we have a toggle for keep original, which basically just preserves the original mesh for us. Next, we have the reduce method, which has three methods to choose from. Percentage, which is going to reduce the mesh by a percentage of the original poly count by the amount set on the percentage slider. We then have vertex limit, which allows you to set the total number of vertices allowed on the final object. And the final reduction method is triangle limit, and it does the same thing, allowing you to set the total number of triangles in the output mesh. Let's just go ahead and set the vertex limit to 1000. The next section on the tool is shape. And here we get some controls to balance preserving small sharp details versus the larger shapes. Preserve quads basically does what it says. The slider range is zero to one. The higher the value, the more quads you're gonna have in your final result. If you find that the overall shape of the object is changing too much, a tip is to reduce the slider a little to give the tool a bit more freedom with the quads. Next up we have sharpness, which controls the balance between preserving small sharp details or whether they get covered by larger polygons. At high values, small details are more likely to be kept. Let's go ahead and just set the sharpness to 0.5. Notice if we just lower the preserve quads value a little, we now get these symmetry options pop up. This is great if our object has symmetry and is a good way to ensure our reduction is the same on both sides of the defined plane. This can be automatic or you can specify a plane of symmetry. Finally, we have feature preservation, which basically helps to preserve specific features during the reduction process. Each of these sliders is how much priority is given to any of the details. I won't be going into too much more of this as it can get fiddly and it's really dependent on the mesh you're trying to reduce. With the settings we've defined, let's just go ahead and click apply. Something nice to note is that we can actually update these changes in the attribute editor to make changes more visually and on the fly. Obviously you can push this too far, but it's a good way to test and make changes. By using this tool, you can quickly reduce your assets and get them ready for production with just a little bit of cleanup. This can be great for photogrammetry or LiDAR scan meshes if they're super dense. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers and check out my Gumroad for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.